and this is today's star. It is a short rib marbling score 8-9. Now I've made short ribs in this channel before, but not like this. You see how they're cut nice and thin? These were done this way to be grilled. And if you take a closer look, you can really appreciate the marbling of this cut. And today I'm going to be cooking it two different ways. The very first one brings a lot of memories from my childhood, and that is to cook Korean style. And of course, the first thing to do is to get a marinade. This marinade is super easy to make. And here's how. I first started with pear, then I throw in garlic cloves, followed by white onions, green onions, ginger paste, a good amount of honey, brown sugar, sesame oil, low sodium soy sauce, followed by salt and black pepper. Now blend everything on high because that is how easy it is to make this marinade. And remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below for you. This marinade is fantastic in any beef. I can guarantee you're gonna make it over and over again because this is delicious. Now to speed up the marinating process, I'm going to be vacuum sealing it. This really opens up the beef fibers and allows the marinade to penetrate nicely and deeply into the meat. That is exactly what we want because now the only thing left to do is to let it rest in my refrigerator for 24 hours. And that is good because it allows me time to go ahead and show you one of my favorite things to make. This is Korean style corn dog. And to make it, it's super easy and here's how. The first thing we gotta do is the batter. So for that, first I mix a little bit of lukewarm water with some yeast. Let that sit so that we can activate it. In a separate bowl, I combine a bread flour followed by sugar and a little bit of salt. Mix everything well and combine these ingredients together. Because by this time, take a look at my yeast. It's foaming up which is a sign that it's activated. Now there's left to do is to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ones. Mix everything well until you have a nice solid ball. Then you want to knead it for about 5 minutes. You don't need to go crazy. You just gotta make sure that everything is incorporated. Now I like to transfer to this glass bowl right here so that I can proof it. All we're trying to do is to make it double in size. Usually after covering it up with clinch plastics, it only takes 2 hours. As that was happening, it's perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make my skewers. Now you can make this with anything you like. Mozzarella string cheese is very popular. You can also do it straight up with hot dogs. That is usually the traditional version. But my favorite is to have the best of both worlds. As you can see, once I was done, they are ready to go. But to make everything easier, I highly recommend sticking it in the freezer for 30 minutes. This will dry out the surface, but most importantly make it nice and sticky. Because by this time, check out our batter. Now here's a huge tip. Do not remove all of the clinch plastic right away. The last thing we want is for our batter to get dry. Now the technique is pretty simple. Start rolling them like this, nice and easy, and the more turns you do, the better it is. Once that's done, you want to go straight to breadcrumbs. I'm using seasoned panko. Notice that there is no need for egg wash or anything. This batter is extremely sticky. Once that's done, you want to deep fry it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit oil. Do not go any higher than that. If you do, your breadcrumbs will burn. Now you want to let them fry until they get a nice golden brown color. As you keep frying them, a little bit of the cheese will ooze out. That is totally okay. Repeat the process until you have a good amount. Now once it's done, if you want to go traditional, sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. Now you can eat it just like this. And boy, is it good. Usually in Korea, they put two sauces. But you know me, we gotta make our own. And this one is super easy to make and here's how. Into a bowl, combine a little bit of mayo, followed by mustard, a little bit of honey, gojugan chili paste, ketchup, and finish it off with sesame oil. Mix everything well and combine all the ingredients together because your sauce is done. And this is fantastic. All there's left is to pour a little bit right on top. Now this you have to try. But hey, don't forget about our ribs. As you can see, these are just as beautiful as the previous ones. Now since this is such a high quality beef, what if I just season it with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder? Will this be just as good or even better than the Korean marinade? Well, we're gonna find out. Talking about that, after 24 hours, I removed it from the bag and extract everything out. Now you see all this wetness? This is the enemy of getting a crust. So we have to remove the marinade as much as possible. As now, the only thing left to do is to cook it. And for that, I'll be direct grilling all of them. Then I'll be putting them on a steak plate and let them cook in indirect heat for 10 minutes. That is good enough. Because now I say it is enough talking and it is time to make some incredible short ribs. So let's do it.
All right, everybody. Here we have our beautiful feast. Beautiful. Literally feast. Beautiful. This guy is excited. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's no experiment. It's Music there. to our ears, right, Angel? <laughs> yes, it is. There is an experiment, but oh. not a bad one. <laughs> oh so here's the deal. This one, I put salt, pepper, garlic powder, and this one is Korean style with the marinade. Korean? Mm. Yeah. Uh, you ever had Korean, Leo? Mm, no, actually, mm, I haven't. Mm, had you Korean. never had Korean? Look, you guys set the bar really high because <laughs> the way these guys talk about Korean food, it's like it's it's from heaven itself. Okay, enough talking. It's time to try. Let's go for this one here first. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. Now, this is a Wagyu short rib. Oh, this thing's falling apart. It is a new cut from my brother, Emilio. I am so happy he is now actually offering this. Cuts like butter. Lord have mercy. All right, before we try, I gotta tell you how to grill this thing. Very important. The grill has to be hot, but you gotta keep flipping several times. You're gonna be like an octopus, you know, here and there and going all over the place. Make sure you wear protective gloves. Keep flipping them because the last thing we want is for them to burn. Remember, the marinade from the Korean has a lot of sugar. Sounds like it was yeah, a lot I'm of work. Ready. It's a lot of work, but it's all worth it. Yeah, we're about to <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, oh, Emilio, I love you. Emilio, I love you very much, my brother. That's all I can say about that, very much. Damn, that is phenomenal. When you take a bite, it's just oh juices exploding in your mouth. You have that nice charcoal char on the outside. This has gotta be Wagyu, because it's, it just, it's just melting your mouth so soft. It is definitely Wagyu. It has that flavor oh, yeah. of fat that you get with Wagyu. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't taste too rich. No, not at all. Can we it's try like, the corn dog? It's just enough. You wanna try the corn dog? <laughs> Can we just say the salt, pepper, garlic powder, 10 out of 10, will highly recommend. I have never, ever in my life not said that. <laughs> 10 out of 10, we'll highly recommend everybody. <laughs> okay, you wanna try a corn dog? Let's go for it. So this is a Korean style corn dog, that's what it's called, or I don't know if it's hot dog because there is no corn in here whatsoever. <laughs> At the same time, I just say enough talking, let's give this a try and give them our feedback. Go for it. Go. Cheers everybody. Cheers guys. Oh man, this is amazing. That sauce. It's very special. Leo's almost done with that dog already, Leo. Look, I know I know. I don't know anything about Korean barbecue, but let me tell you, I know a thing or two about corn dogs. <laughs> How's it taste, Leo? It tastes really good. It's very different than a traditional corn dog because yeah. the batter is more like thin. It's more like a consistent texture where this is more crunchy and flaky. And also, I don't know what it is, but I'm getting like a little bit of sweetness mm -hmm. when I bite into this corn dog. Korean people, we love putting, uh, you know, I'm, I'm saying that I'm Korean, by the way. Did you just notice that? <laughs> <laughs> we we love putting yeah i feel like i'm korean everybody i lived with a korean master for many years so i'm korean all right like halfway i don't know one <laughs> one third what <laughs> brazilian that, korean what it is is uh you sprinkle a little bit of sugar mm, it's it's adds a completely different element than what i'm used to on a corn dog it's very flavorful okay i'm excited for this mm. i want to try this because I want to know how it tastes. You ready? Let's no go for more. It. Now I must say the caramelization on this one is way better because, as you guys know, oh my god, look at this! I know, right? <laughs> no, no right there, there. I'm eating this. There's, there's no such thing as <laughs> a five-second rule with this oh. type of short rib. All right, let's give this one a try. We're gonna give you guys a fair review. You ready? I am so Enough. ready for this. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, guys. That is so different. Mm. I'm just like melting right now. <laughs> A few years ago, it was my birthday, and I literally, the only thing I asked for was Korean barbecue. Yeah. That's where I hold it. It's a birthday present. After this experience, I'm going to start asking Google for the same thing. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> a lot of Korean food coming, everybody. It is very different from the first one. Night and day. Sweeter, the Korean flavors that comes through. Absolutely my favorite. Texturally, it's different because you don't have that same crust as like the charcoal grill. It's a saucy glaze on the outside of it. That's sweet. It's still juicy, but it's just the flavors that you get are so polar opposite the first one. I'm about to finish the whole plate. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm right. I'm like almost done with it too. <laughs> with that being said, they're both fantastic. We have to determine a winner. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. You? Absolutely, everybody. The Korean method is better. The salt, pepper, garlic parlor has its place, but you cannot compete with the Korean marinade. It is better. Do this one if you have only one option. If you want to do both, do it. But this one, 
is better. The uh, Korean probably. barbecue is just something special. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, if did. you did enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. I think this might be my favorite video ever. Oh, it's my favorite video every time.